knowing the society we have into our access and institutions will serve as symbolism, function and conflict terms in sociology. Most of these institutions are responsible for socialization, they are responsible for order, they are responsible for serving as something that we need to stand on to have a cooperative society with people and also maintain order and protection of the vulnerable. Among these beautiful and symbolic institutions, the one prominent and important, which I would say is the most important, is the marriage institution. One may ask why is it a very important institution? Go and ask your grandfather. <laughs> marriage is the basis, or should I say, the harbinger for a family. Or should I say it is based on marriage that a family is formed. Although in recent times families are formed out of wedlock and all that. But marriage is one of the important institutions which we see as the ushering of someone into a family. Marriage can be monogamous, it can be polygamous, it can be polyandrous, it can be different different types based on the culture and where you live in. In Ghana, weddings are mostly done on Saturdays and Sundays and we all know that a lot of people go to these events, you know, either a funeral or a marriage ceremony. Last week was, or should I say last weekend was another opportunity for people to get married and our very own Howard Amenya of XOXO fame also got married and because he got married we would all, we all think that it's a very very good news which is a very good news to him and his bride and also his family and their her family too and also the people of Ghana however <laughs> when you do something um, as a public figure you put stuff on social media definitely and definitely will get people to talk about it and the main comment that was that came out after his wedding or his marriage ceremony was uh, displayed on social media was the features of his bride. Among these comments were our, was our very own cyberbully, the post that went for cyberbullies for Ghana, Bongo Ideas. According to him, in a post that he made on Twitter and Facebook, he said, I expected a handsome Harold Ibenia to have better taste than this. Maybe she's rich, because even with the makeup, her looks do not match up with his in the least. Outside, maybe this is another classic case of love is blind, because in terms of aesthetics, he made a poor choice. His crushes must be disappointed right now. So basically, we all know Karol Amenya is one of the hanks, and even in the series of XOXO, he was listed as a press top baddest boy, who was a ladies man in most of his roles. So yeah, people want me expect that as a hank like that, he would pick a bride that suits him. Honestly, I think the bride suits him and he knows what he went for, but yeah, that was Bobo Ideas' opinion. By the way, by the way, Howard responded by saying you can't fathom what God has done from the beginning to the end. So, basically he was responding to who was defending his wife by, you know, giving thanks to the Lord. Even though the incident was a feast for cyber buddhists and the likes, we also had people defend the wife and Harun Amenya for making his choice. And among these people was a seasoned radio presenter and a radio product producer, sorry, of 3, 3FM, Caleb Neboy, who went on an attack history on Facebook on people who said the lady wasn't beautiful. I have screenshots of some of these comments. So a lady by the name Josephine Simons I said maybe the MC maybe she's the MC, not the bride. And Carlos ruthlessly responded to this lady and said, Maybe you are the bride. Maybe you are the bride, but check your stomach. Can you properly breathe? Yeah, so he took a picture of the lady. I think she wanted to do the lady's uh, profile, took a picture of uh, trying to mock her, which basically she wasn't also that beautiful either. Another lady also by the name MFR was Mujaka also said that oh, is the news for me and she had a question mark after it which I don't know whether she was trying to make a statement or a question anyway I, mean, I think she was trying to make a statement so Caleb replied her by saying it's your teeth for me again <laughs> he went into the lady's profile took a picture of her and I think she has a funny structured dentition so I mean he was trying to make 
fun of that shit. As she is making fun of, you know, the wife of Haruna Mena. Another lady said that ten, it's not always about beauty or values. No. She's beautiful though. Maybe the hairstyle didn't match the occasion. Some of you. She was actually defending the lady, but her, as usual, her life was in its emotions. I think she was trying to be the superman for this lady, or should I say the social justice ambassador for this lady. So, he also took it went to the ladies, you know, the profile took, took a picture, downloaded a picture and posted and said that your smile might be, um, your smile might have matched the occasion, I swear. Making fun of the ladies, I think, teeth and smile. Honestly, I don't think she's bad looking, but, and I don't know, I don't know why, you know, Caleb chose to attack her. But I think Caleb was in his emotions at that time. I remember last year, I was raving and railing over, fantasizing over a book I read called The Law of Human Nature, which was written by Arthur Robert Green. And in the book, it was, it, he it made a statement which says that, um, keys to human nature, we humans like to believe that the emotions we experience are simple and pure. We love certain people and hate others. We respect and admire this individual and have nothing but disdain for another. The truth is that this is almost never the case. It is a fundamental fact of human nature that our emotions are almost always ambivalent, really pure and simple. We can feel love and hostility at the same time and all admiration and envy. So basically what he was trying to say is that our human nature is not pure. It's not black and white. It's actually a gray area. And uh, from this instance, which Caleb Nibor was trying to mask his own cyberbullying tendencies and steer towards the lady's defense. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, human nature is in such a way that we envy those who come out to do things that we feel is something we need to restrain, we feel is something that is not social the social norm but instead of um, trying to show that our envy we try to mask it with using that same method to shame those who do that and i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's just an observation and this is one of the instances that shows that human nature is a black and white and most of the times those who tend to cyber bully the cyber bully envy the cyber bully and as usual, since Harold and Menya was turning this weekend, some uh, some radio podcasters also took to their station to discuss about the issue. And Councillor Lutrot was given the platform to also discuss about the ladies, the incident that happened. And uh, this was what he said. Now, Mr. Safwe, don't go there. Hear me. Halifax, your enemy can become your decorator. Your enemy can become your makeup artist. Your wrong friends can become bridal party. Your three minutes is at the twelve o'clock. Hi, fast. Get on your side, hold your phone. I cannot share in your quack 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 quack. I don't know what voice that is. Etcham, etcham. I will go on a week notion. I can't stand. 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 I <laughs> this man is too loud, Papa Yoka Sao, Asapaka. So yeah, this is what he said. And uh, actually, my opinion about this issue is that he married who he wanted to marry. He has his reason for marrying who he wanted to marry. And uh, the marriage is between he and the lady. You don't know what past they have, what history they have. I don't know where, why he married her and where they are going. All I have to say is, y'all should shut the f up. The name is ADB, and that was my opinion. I'm out to dismiss it. Hasta la vista. And we say bye bye.